65 Gamer Guy here with a review of Slither for the Clique Vision. This game requires the roller controller, otherwise known as a trackball, and it's a little bit like Centipede, except in this game you can move pretty much throughout the, the full screen and you can shoot both up and down. You have to shoot these snakes as they come down the screen toward you and you have to shoot these shoot or avoid these this pterodactyl and, or pterodactyl and whatever the other thing is I don't know really what it is a brown thing with wings it looks like As the game progresses, you go through day to, I guess, twilight or night. And as the game gets harder, you get more snakes you have to fight. And kind of like Centipede, you instead of having mushrooms, you have these, I guess, are cactuses or cacti or whatever that kind of get in your way. Also, as the game gets harder, the, some of the snakes are underground and all you can see are their tails. So it makes it harder to get rid of them. I personally kind of like the mobility you have in this game where you can move more around the screen than you can in Centipede or games like that where you're kind of stuck at the bottom part of the screen. And you can't shoot past these rocks. The rocks will block your shot. Another thing too is if you shoot the snakes, if they're moving horizontally and you shoot them in the middle, they'll split into another snake. Now this is a fun game. I really enjoy this game. Like I mentioned, it's a little bit like Centipede, but it's got different elements to it. And it makes it an interesting game. It's like Centipede, but it's different. So, And I like Centipede too, but they're both great games. They just have a little bit of a different feel to them. They're not exactly the same, so that's kind of a good thing.
65 Gamer Guy here. Thanks for watching and happy gaming.